The Beatrice High School football team put up an impressive and unstoppable 10-0 record last season, but where does that put expectations for this season? What has changed with the loss of 21 seniors from last year's squad? The coaches and players of the Beatrice High School football team offer some explanation in this video from Beatrice Daily Sun. It's a process. Our kids learn at a young age. It's we expect to win every year, and our kids, uh, you know, obviously duplicating last year with an undefeated season will be a challenge. But uh, we don't look at it that way. We look at it as a game by game basis, and uh, just our improvement. We're trying to get better each week, and that's kind of the case that we did last year. Our kids really improved from game one to, to game eleven. Ready, hit. You know, we've pretty much been the same philosophy. We've been very fortunate to be pretty consistent with our coaching staff. So, uh, uh, you know, we want, we want to be multiple on offense in terms of formations and our attack of the defense. But, uh, you know, I think you have to be pretty flexible in terms of what you're going to do each year with your personnel. And last year's personnel dictated us we are going to be a real physical, aggressive run offense. And uh, um, we'd hope to duplicate that this year. We have to wait till we get going and check our kids out in pads. Obviously, the first day we're starting today in pads. So we'll, we'll see how, how physical they are. Hey, get to him, get to him. Break down, block him, block him. Good. Good, other side's on O. Yeah, coming off 10 and 0 sets expectations real high. And I've coached 15 years, and it's the only time I've ever seen a team run off 10 in a row. So uh, I think we just got to kind of have the same attitude we did last year. We're going to try to be more physical than everybody, and we got to be stay in our close games. and and do the right things. You know, last year we were very good at not doing anything to hurt ourselves from the offensive standpoint. We turned it over very little, and that was a big difference for us as the year went on. No, I think we've got enough guys at different positions. Everybody's going to step up. You know, it's, it's always interesting when you coach. You never know the guys that are going to step up. Every year we have a kid that you were expecting to maybe play a little bit, and all of a sudden he steps up and is a big contributor. So we've got a lot of guys, and I think we'll be have a good team again. Uh, we lost a lot of our starters, uh, a lot of seniors left, and we got a lot of younger kids with experience, so we're going to try to play those experienced kids and use their experience to our advantage. I feel like the expectations are the same every year. We're out here to win, and we're going to do our best to win every game. Like I said earlier, every game is important. Uh, um, <clears throat> you know, obviously, your district games are the most important. You could. Uh, uh, not win a game up till districts, win your district and make the playoffs. But uh, we just take one game at a time. Our opening game is Elkhorn South. It'll be our biggest challenge and uh, uh, go from there and, and then and work to the next game. So uh, on a game by game basis, we haven't thought of anybody other than Elkhorn South uh, in our preseason practice or, or including this summer. You know, I think, you know, a lot of our kids are like the tradition we've had. Uh, we've been a top 10 team every year. Uh, well, except one out of the last 10 years that our coaching staff's worked together. And we've been fortunate to have some great kids that have gone on and played some college football and kids that have gone through our program are very good football players that ended their careers uh, their senior year and chose not to play. But uh, I think for our young kids, the biggest thing is that we have a lot of fun. Uh, football's hard work, but Friday nights, are, there's nothing like it. On, uh, In my opinion, I'm obviously a little biased, but their Friday night lights, uh, high school football is pretty fun. and. Uh, uh, it doesn't really compare to anything else.